We literally just find our eyes in the mirror. Within one half second, it's converted that video of my eye. It's created a template, it's looked at a database, and it's told me that I have access to this doorway, so it's opened the door for me. So the lights have turned blue because it's recognized that you're a live person. Wow, that's, um, that's a relief. So, so congratulations, you're alive. Mm. And so it did not recognize that you are in our database and you do not have privileges to walk in our door, so it did not unlock the door for you. So Gotcha. So actually, that's, I like that, that I'm alive, right. um, and it does it sort of negates that um, horrible sci-fi movie situation, which I think was actually depicted in Demolition Man, where right. someone removes an eye right. from a dead body and actually gains access to something. That's, that's exactly right. <clears throat> more, more importantly than, you know, dead eyeballs in a baggie or something, right. is the fact that we don't want people to be able to take a photograph or a video of someone and then represent that you are that person and hold it up to the cameras. Um, fingerprint is roughly 1 in 10,000 to 1 in 50,000 uh, times on a false accept rate, meaning that you might you know, falsely be recognized as somebody else. Um, so in contrast for the iris, a single eye would be 1 in 1.5 million times. iLock does dual eye, so it's 1 in 2.25 trillion times. So, okay, this is the new uh, product you guys are debuting at CES. Tell me about it. So this is Myris from iLock and uh, Myris, you know, my iris. We've got uh, enabling technology in here that is the same as what we, we showed you on our physical access product outside. So uh, we take um, video of your eye, do exactly the same thing, convert it into a template. Um, this is USB powered, so it's going to work with uh, Windows and uh, Mac operating systems. And it's as easy as looking into the mirror. So the mirror has turned dark blue because I'm alive. <laughs> and um, so I love that blue is alive thing. Yeah, That's great. That it's going to allow you using our dashboard to um, kind of aggregate all of the um, uh, protocols and websites and you know social networks that you currently use to um, enter your usernames and passwords. And it's going to allow Myris to be that access um, authenticator for you. So this will be something you can just plug into your computer and it basically is your password for any service that can connect with it. So I assume uh, I, there's going to be some services that will work with sort of iris data, probably few, but if, uh, for the ones that don't, there'll be kind of a back-end handoff to your, your actual password. That's exactly right, and that, that's, a, that's a function of what, um, what service providers are requiring today. Mm -hmm. And on the hardware side, I mean, that's great for the services, but on the hardware side, it seems like to me the ultimate goal is to get this built into whatever you're doing. So you have it, it's, it's not just a, a peripheral, exactly but it's, right. it's something that is just part of your phone or your laptop. That's exactly right. So we created Myris to work as a, as a bridge product with the legacy technology and, and uh, laptops and PCs that exist in the market today, but you're 100% right. So what we want to do is we want to get to an embedded solution, which, uh, which is represented oh, here. This is a, a, a proof of concept that iLock has created that utilizes the same overarching and enabling technology embedded into a PC to allow you to lock and unlock your computer, log into websites and bank accounts, the same as, as what uh, Myris does for you today, um, but from a fully embedded perspective. So we are partnering with uh, the largest uh, OEM um, and ODM providers in the world to bring iLock from an embedded perspective into the market.